Hey guys, Cobra here. Welcome back. Happy Friday. Um, this seems like a much easier fusion, uh, fragment fusion that we thought, guys. Is this like brand new Plarium? Like new Plarium, new year? That's going to be the thumbnail. That's going to be the thumbnail for today. And it's not even clickbait. And, and how do I say that? Well, if you guys have seen the fusion calendar for the new um, champion that is offered, right? The Blade Master, then you've seen that we don't need to do both of the summoning events. It's the first time since a long, long time. And it's a, it's a good thing. And not only that, if you check on the summon rush today, you will see that it's 3,150 points for the 15 fragments, which makes this very, very, very interesting. Because if you're summoning today, that's a good way to get 15 fragments. Comparing it to the past, okay? Always, always I'm comparing it to previous summoning rushes that we had where it was around the 4,000 mark where we would have the fragments needed or a champion needed for a fusion, right? So this being at 3,150, I think it's very doable for many accounts out there who have been playing the game for a little while, at least like my account, if I compare it, I've been playing for a little while, right? So um, there's no lower amount of requirement. And if I think about would my free to play account require less points, we can quickly have a look actually if I load it up. Um, it's, well, it's not a free to play account. It's a younger account that I have as a referral. And I want to show you guys maybe like the difference. So this is 3,150 and this is my referral account, uh, almost level 50. Maybe I can get the secrets, but I don't think so. Um, let's check on the summon rush here. This one in terms of points, it's the same 3,150. So maybe summon rush is the same for all. 3350 for this one. This one is definitely lower. 3350. The the dungeon divers. And if I check my my game, um, dungeon divers on the main account. This is 3700. So yeah, that's a little bit lower. The summon summon rush is the same though. And here we have the champion training, which is 5150. All right. Let's check the tournaments on the on the referral account. It's 4850. So very very similar for this one. Nobody really is bothering on this, you know, on younger accounts and dragon tournaments, 1650. So much more doable. And I wonder what, what all of these coins would be beneficial for newer accounts, but much more doable or on newer accounts. I don't know when it changes and it becomes so much more difficult, but still I, I, um, I see this as a total positive, honestly, the, the requirements here. 5,150 seems kind of okay for champion training. And if you go crazy, you can actually get the plus 10 there and save yourself some trouble. If you want to go heavy on the summons, um, you can save yourself some of the artifact enhancement and stuff. I might do that, but for now, uh, like I can't even really go heavy on summons because as you can see, I have one sacred here. I got two primals, which um, I don't plan on opening. What do primals give us? I think it's very little, 200 points, um, kind of, kind of little considering the mystery shards I could use the primals. I want to save for like the, the 2% chance. And now that I see it like 3,150 here, seems very doable. The artifact enhancement, I'm guessing it's going to be for the same amount of points, but overall these seem okay. And uh, if we judge on the progressive chances that we have right now, I think this is not a bad time to summon, especially if you're looking for one of these two blade masters. I think this one is the one that people um, have been saying that she's really great. Negrigante Archer. R, I don't know what the R stands for, but yeah, um, I've heard very good things about her, especially for Hydra because she does have a provoke, does have a hex, which is insane for the Hydra. I mean, especially having an additional champion that has, has that healing, when you have the hex, increase the champion's defense is defensive base, so it's gonna be hitting based on tankiness. So you make the champion more tanky, you're gonna hit harder. Double AOEs here, and then even increase accuracy buff. Um, lots of debuffs here, like decrease speed. So I haven't tested this this uh, champion out, but I'm definitely like gonna put her in the progressive for the little bit of summons that I'll do today. So what about this dude? Um, if I click on him, he does have an aura for speed in dungeons, 30% single target AOE. Then this one's a cleanse and he can actually place a protected block debuff, which is nice for the Hydra again. 
and then a field in champion tournament. So good champions from the Blade Masters over, except for the Void. I think the Void is the one I'll be testing out a little bit later today and, and seeing whether he's really worth it. Because this guy um, on paper looks insane. Okay, on paper looks insane. But uh, the only thumbnails I've seen from every creator that has done a video already on, on Fatali's Blade Master is that this guy is absolutely crap. So uh, with that in mind, I want to test him out just, just to confirm. Um, maybe see if there is some way, somewhere that you can use this guy, but um, HP based champions are not in a really good place at the moment. Even at maximum, um, maximum health, how much is really his health? If he's at maximum health, I gotta see it and compare it a little bit. So he's at 23K, 23K for a void. You can't really compare him to Taraz. I mean, Taraz is on a separate level. Um, he's a little bit lower health, but Taraz even has a crazy insane passive where he, he gets, he takes in 50% damage instead of 100. So he gets a shield, um, attacks all enemy, ignores defense, attacks one enemy, will ignore 50% of the target's defense, then fills Terminator. And that's a, a secret skill. Attacks one enemy, ignores strength and stone skin, increase defense, ally protection, also ignores 15% of the target's defense. Um, this is nice to nuke down um, attackers who have stone skin basically, but defenders usual, usually will have reaction gear set. So if you're not going first, it, well, if you're not going first, then you, it, this should be okay. Um, this is nice against the Necrit, but Necrit is not as good as he was in the past. Nowadays, it's all about um, just high defenders and, and, and Necrit is good, but it's not as as much as he, he used to be. So ignores defense. Yeah, I, I will try him out on the test server. So let's go and do a little bit of summons to close this off. Um, I don't expect anything. This is just to get a little bit of points and then I'll be going on my mystery shards. Remember, I don't wanna touch the void shards that I have. I've been saving these every day for a long while now. And my RSL helper uh, will show and confirm how many voids do I have. Um, 182 so i'm so close to pity there's no point opening and possibly triggering it and i'm just i'm just gonna play it safe and carry on uh with saving them and when the terras 10x or 15x comes hopefully 15x we'll do we'll do some big summon so let's get started progressive chance i'm gonna go for the archer here and then for epics i would say maybe maybe her because i've got these two guys um so let's go let's do four that I have. I don't have much else as you can see the account is struggling at the moment with resources but it's fine. I mean <clears throat> I went above and beyond for Mikage which was a total waste uh, if I'm being very honest. Like if, if I knew this 15x would be coming um, yeah, I would have saved some secrets but um, yeah I went a little bit too heavy too heavy for my liking and, um, and then I, I went even more because I had like a sacred from clan boss the following day I opened that as well like in total opened 10 or 11 sacreds and it's just so bad right uh so much for this one sacred that's 500 points easy points let's see let's see let's see of course we get an epic and we get a seneschal all right actually might need a seneschal for this rotation of the um, of what's it called the um Cintrano. so that might actually be good can i even get a, a different shard from anywhere else the arenas are fallen off i blame Cintranos for falling off in the arena um yeah i couldn't even if i wanted to i can't yeah i can buy this i guess unfortunately we can't do more summons guys that's it um how many points do i have let me see is it worth me showing you guys how much i'll need for 2500 how long is it gonna take me um through mystery shot it's gonna take me quite some while i don't think i'm gonna do it in a video because i don't want to bore you guys and there's a champion training which i think people should be doing um relatively easy there's a void there i'll go for that for sure and then this one six star chaos or to get your um mythicals re re-rolled basically that's huge especially for the new set the merciless one as you're getting them 
I mean, it's it's totally worth it. Even if it's not for the merciless, maybe a lethal set that you might have. That's very good. So that's it, guys, for today. Just good news, honestly, out of this one. Um, there's some devil I can can do. Maybe get the relentless. This guy's getting close to me, but uh, probably won't push. Uh, we'll see, though. We'll see. Uh, let me know down below on what you're doing if you're summoning now or if you're waiting for the tournament. And yeah, have a good rest of your day. See ya.